Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Chris coming at you with another episode of Blunt Talks. Today on Blunt Talks, we're going to be talking a little bit about Delta 8 and Delta 9. What's the difference? Does it get you high? And is it worth the money? Now, in my opinion, I'm not a big fan of Delta 9 or Delta 8. I like good old fashioned THC. Now, they say Delta 9 is basically THC. Back in the day when I was smoking weed, we didn't have all this crazy stuff, Delta 8, Delta 9, uh, THCA. I mean, like, there's so much CBD. There's so much different, like, terminology now. I guess maybe because science got more advanced and cannabis got, you know, more popular and we started maybe doing more research on it. I mean, back in the day, we had, like I said, dirt weed, mid-grades, and kind bud. And you would maybe get, like, hydro tossed around or maybe northern lights you know what I mean we would hear those terms every once in a while but we didn't really have all this crazy stuff now you can go into a gas station and they're selling Delta 8 cards and you're thinking to yourself like bro like what the hell what the hell is a Delta 8 card I mean when I first seen a Delta 8 card I didn't know what it was I didn't know what Delta 8 I had to literally google it what's Delta 8 I didn't know what it was I never heard of it I never tried it I was baffled that I wanted to know what it was so I did some research on it and I found out that it's just a it's a less potent form of THC I mean that's all it is I mean you're going into a gas station and buying it you don't got to be 21 to buy them they're really popular with the kids because you know they're easier to access they can go into a gas station most of these places these head shops are you know they don't card so it's a lot easier to access. These younger kids, there's no way they're getting into a dispensary. So it's easier for them to get into a gas station and purchase Delta 8. So basically, Delta 8 is just a, a, a weaker form of Delta 9. It's less psychoactive. It's not going to get you as high. You might get subtle effects from it. Um, I've, I've smoked before. I've got a bit of a of a head high from it. I definitely didn't feel high like I do when I smoke actual cannabis. That's 100% sure. Um, it's nothing like actual cannabis in my opinion. I know people that like Delta 8 and they smoke it and they say that it gets them high. Me, like I said, I felt a, a little bit from it but not really. It, you know, it wasn't really worth it to me. So, if you're looking for maybe a super mild you know, uh, alternate to cannabis. Maybe you can look into Delta 8. But personally, if you want to smoke weed, just smoke weed. Don't go Delta 8 or Delta 9. Just go, like, cannabis, bro. Just get some cannabis, man. That's my opinion. Like I said, it's going to be different strokes for different folks. There's people out there that like Delta 8, or maybe they're getting it in, like, gummy form, and it works for them, and it helps them with uh whatever so I'm not I'm not saying it. I'm just like saying my opinion I'm not a big fan of Delta 8 I did do some research on it it is a cannabinoid that you know comes from the hemp plant it's just one of the many cannabinoids that come from the hemp plant it just happens to be less uh, psychoactive and doesn't get you as high so they made a product out of it they sell it all over the place now it's easy to access it can be expensive. I mean, I've seen like oil uh, Delta 8 cards go from anywhere from like 20 to 60 70 dollars for a card, depending on, I guess, the company you're getting it from or where you're getting it from. So you can get them for cheap or you can get them for expensive. I mean, you know, it, it could vary. And, it, you know, Delta 8 comes in different forms. You can get in edibles and gummies. Uh, I've never seen flour that's Delta 8. I don't know if that exists. Uh, if you've seen that, uh, you can leave a comment, let me know. I'm not sure of that. I mean, the only form that I've really seen Delta 8 come in is in oils and edibles. Uh, it could come in flour. I don't see anything with Delta 8 on it when I go to the, the dispensary. So that's pretty much all I got on Delta 8 and Delta 9. Like I said, I'm not really a big fan of it. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and have a great day, guys. Peace out.